everyone, my name is Tasha and welcome to Heart of Tarts. Today on the show we'll be celebrating springtime because we are tired of the polar vortex. I live in Atlanta, we are tired of the ice and being held hostage in our cars for 13 hours straight and we are just tired of it. Even though I have on a sweater, the time has skipped or jumped or moved back or forward or whatever the heck it did, we are ready for the sun. So we are going to make a blooming strawberry rose tart today and I'm going to show you how to make these cute strawberry roses and it's going to be amazing. Let's get started on this recipe. So I'm doing this new thing where I'm trying to make my tarts raw now so it's interesting. This crust didn't exactly come out great. It's kind of crumbly but I decided I would show you how to make it regardless. To the food processor you want to add in one cup raw unsalted pecans, one half cup soft pitted dates, and one fourth teaspoon salt. Blend it all together until your dates and pecans are really, really finely ground. And I added in a couple of peanuts just because I didn't have a full cup of pecans. I kind of cheated a little bit, but any nuts will do. Once that's ground up to like little, 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 little things, you want to add in one cup of coconut flour, which is probably where I went wrong. I probably should have added in less coconut flour and more fat or less fat or liquid. But anyway, three tablespoons coconut oil and one teaspoon vanilla extract. And if I ever confuse you with ingredients or measurements or anything, you can always find the recipe in the description below. And today is Wednesday, so it's extra special. You can find a printable recipe at Parade.com. So blend that all together until it is nice and sticky. I'm going to add it to my 10 inch tart pan and press it snugly against the bottom and the sides. It does make it nice and stiff and it does kind of stick, but when you go and try to cut it, insert here, it just crumbles all apart. For the filling to the food processor, I'm going to add in two pitted and peeled avocados, one banana, six pitted dates, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and the juice of one lemon. Blend that all together until it is very, very smooth. You may have to stop it and scrape down the sides, but just blend it, blend it, blend it. I'm going to add this to a bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, and set it in the refrigerator to chill while I cut up my strawberries. The filling itself takes one pound of strawberries thinly sliced, so I'm going to thinly slice those. Once you get the strawberries for the filling sliced up, you're going to take another pound of strawberries, hold those just Hold them. Make sure you keep most of the bottom intact. Don't slice it straight across, but go in at a 45 degree angle and just take out the leafy green part and set that aside, compost it, do whatever you need to do to it, but we will not be using it for this recipe. Be very careful with this knife. Again, if you do not have knife skills, either get someone who does have knife skills to do it for you or just skip this part altogether. You can just place the strawberries on top and it will still be gorgeous. But we're going to make strawberry roses. So what you want to do is hold the strawberry in your left hand or your less dominant hand. Mine is the left hand. And then take your dominant hand, your, my right hand, and you want to thinly slice about a third way down. Start thinly slicing the skin and then just bend it out ever so slightly. Turn it and do the same thing. Thinly slice it and bend it out. You want to have about four good petals per strawberry around the bottom. Then you want to move to the second row and in between each one of those, thinly slice another one and bend it down. Do not go all the way down to the bottom with your second row slices. Just go about midway the first row and then bend it out. You get what I'm saying? Turn it, slice it again. And if your strawberry is big enough, you can fit a third row on it. So keep doing that to all of the strawberries. This is time consuming and a little bit tedious, but I love time consuming and tedious. I'm a detail oriented girl and you know, I love doing the carvings of the things like like my hair this took a while you know but it's gorgeous details details anyway <laughs> once you have that done you're going to set it aside then you're going to pull your avocado lemon pudding mixture of deliciousness out of the refrigerator and just try not to eat it all because it is so so yummy so so citrus is summer and great we're going to uncover it and then lay out about half of our sliced strawberries into the bottom of our tart crust cover it up with about half of our avocado pudding mixture and then layer out the other half of our sliced strawberries and then cover that up with our avocado pudding mixture and this is going to act as our grass 
us for our strawberry blooming roses and we're just gonna plop those on in you know a decorative manner don't just throw them on but set them on nice and neat I started off with a nice big circle around the outside then I moved to the inside and I did have some sliced strawberries left over so I added those to the ends and it is gorgeous like I said earlier the only thing that went wrong with it is the stupid stupid crust this crust did not work out in my favor it probably won't work out in your favor either so use the oatmeal crust or just go crustless like summertime topless just go without the crust and just do the pudding and the strawberries and it will still be scrumptious uh so good <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Heart of Tarts, please do. I am lovely and scrumptious just like these tarts, so you will always enjoy. Bye.